So, welcome guys to a new episode of Tech Tips with Solat Media. I'm Linus. I'm Jacob. And today we're at this awesome medieval ren fair. At Hovdala Castle in Skåne. At Hovdala Castle in Skåne. Yeah, that's right. Nice. And today I have the Vanguard CB34, the side bag. 8 liter and I have a 9 liter, one go uh, shoulder bag. Yeah. Simple enough. Yeah. So we're just going to be walking around. We're going to do some showing of what we fit inside and you guys going to walk with us when we're just enjoying the fair. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah. So today we are at the Hovdala Medieval Fair and behind me they're preparing for the archery contest which is a perfect venue for having a shoulder bag with you. So this is the one mo uh, shoulder bag, 9 liter, and it's the perfect size for uh, hiking about in these kind of situations. So I always have my water with me on the side here so I gotta stay hydrated. On the bottom here I have a mini tripod and it has these little hook straps right here that you just unhook in the loops and you get your little tripod out. Uh, sit snugly right there right now, so that's nice. Have a secondary side pouch if I wanted a second bottle or something small to tuck in. In the back here you have a slight uh, little wallet uh, or document spot for small things. This big roughly. Uh, so it's quite nice. And it's like the extra liter compared to Linus's bag really that makes a difference. It makes you fit all of those extra things. Like here's an extra one for little tickets and uh, fared things you don't want to hide inside. So. You know, it's very handy to have all of these pockets. And on the top back here, I have a laptop with me. You know, just in case I have to transfer something last minute. So I have a, a laptop here. Actually, I also have an iPad here. And the laptop and the charger block right here. So, lots of things fits here. In this part here. So we're going to look inside. I'm going to tuck this shut again. There we go. And let's see which we'll do this this way first. Because there's so many pockets, it's hard to remember which way to put them so you can see them the best. So if we do it this part first up here, balancing, nice. Down here, there's a little pocket, and here I have my uh, charger for the phone. Right down there. Up here has a super cool hard case. So if you want to have your sunglasses up here, that works fine. Right now I have pens and small flash drives and such. So that's nice. Up here you have your batteries. And I think I hid the little coin so it wouldn't get lost. And now I'm gonna flip it around for one part at least. So here you have two more pockets. Great for uh, filters or power banks right here. And here I have the actual ch cable for the laptop and such. So, and then switch back. I mean, it's, it's very handy. For nine liters, it seems like it's much more. Uh, up here in this little mesh, I have a, a lens pen. Always have to have that with you. And the charger pieces for the batteries, just in case. Uh, and if I take out the camera, you can see the cool dividers. There we go. This is an EOS R with a wide angle right there. Uh, and in here, we have a Anchorworks mic set. And again, I love these uh, uh, origami flop-up uh, Thing, so you can hide all of your messy cables and your batteries. So these are all the things for the screen that I'm getting to. HDMI's and uh, attachments for the, the camera shoe. Super good. And on this side here is what it connects to. It's the Automus uh, 5 Ninja screen for 4K recording with hard drive case. So this is a super good little kit. And I still love that you can, in a 9 liter, you can actually set your camera standing. Otherwise, all of this space would have been disappeared in the camera. But now I can just pop that in there and fit everything in there. So the extra liter does make a difference. On both sides here, you have this little extra hook strap 
with a little hook in the, uh, the thing. So you can actually just attach whatever you have here so it sticks nice. Uh, as I have done here, the, this doesn't move anywhere now, it sits snug. Uh, I really like the, the material of this, it's very, I mean, resistant in all things and it's very stylish. So it looks like a really nice bag when you have it. The handle is very wide and robust and cushiony. The strap itself, it's very comfortable, it's soft enough and still in that material that doesn't scratch you. Uh, and of course you can do your uh, adjustments fairly easy by pulling this up and down. All right, awesome strap. I love this bag. Over to Linus. <laughs> All right, thanks Jake, it's my turn. Uh, I'm here with the Vanguard CB34 today, the 8 liter backpack here, or side pouch, I guess. Um, gorgeous material, and I just love, I usually love how good Vanguard makes their bags look. And I can just say, the accents on these guys, all these leather accents are just fantastic. Uh, I love the blue too. Um, and you know, it's just very scratch resistant as well and stunning. So I mean, good job, good job. Um, so one of the things that I don't really like is the lack of side pouches, but that we're not here to talk about that. We can take that later. Um, one thing that I will say before I go all the way in is I would have had my tripod hanging in the back here or on the bottom, but it's currently in use. So you get, it, it, it should be here. Um, all right, let's open them up. One of the cool things with this guy, if you open it like this, is just quink. Now I, now I can reach everything. Uh, super smooth. Okay, let's start. I'm gonna start with having to show you my, the R8 with the Nifty 50. And we have the Peak Design strap right there. Super nice, really like those. Uh, and then <coughs> cleaner, lens caps. And like my F1 Zoom recorder, the mic recorder. Uh, so that's there. And then I got my SD cards, the whole pack here. Um, and next to that, I got my light, the Pocky light. Uh, and it's in, in all of its glory. Uh, it fits super well in here. And it does have a little secret compartment, I'll show you. Uh, it goes right here. And that is where I have put my microphone for uh, the Zoom. Uh, so it fits snugly in there and it's super safe. Very good. Let's see. There you go. Uh, let's start over here. We're gonna flip this open. We got the batteries. Uh, I currently only have one good one and since the other one is in here, it's not sad yet. So I'm, there's no battery in the red. Otherwise, got the Canon batteries right here. Um, and then I got my pen backup pen, always good to have. Um, we have here my SD card reader for computer. I uh, got my power brick, no power, yeah, exactly, power brick right there. Got my lens pen right there. And an extra flashlight, you know, just, just in case, good to have, keeping it charged. Uh, and then here with all of these cool bands here, I got bongo ties courtesy of Jacob, thank you. Uh, and a bunch of different USB cables, just for any occasion. Uh, I do realize that I probably need a USB-C to C, just because that's what everything is nowadays. Anyway, cables. Um, in the back here, where usually you, it's the laptop compartment, you can fit a 13-inch laptop here, uh, a MacBook Air, um, but you can't do that if you have all of this stuff in it too. So it's kind of a, you have to choose what you want. Um, 
But yeah, so today I don't have a MacBook in here because I got all this stuff in it. Uh, so I actually start out with having to show you my power bank with its cable and my battery charger. And here on the outside, the power bank hole to drive the cable through. So that's actually everything that's in this bag. And I'll say it's uh, important to say that it's a lot of stuff in an eight liter bag, very impressive. And it only, I feel like it only works because I have the tiny nifty 50 and the R8. Otherwise I wouldn't be able to fit half of the stuff because it takes a lot of stuff to have a big lens and bigger camera. So really works well for this kit. Um, very happy with this. I'm gonna have to close this for you real quick. Anyway, another thing that I want to say right before I finish off is this really cool strap here. Uh, and it's one of the cool things with this super fast of adjusting the length. You just have to pull whatever. Yeah, like that. If you want more like that. Easy. Anyway, throwing over to me and Jake in the future. See you soon. All right, great. That was uh, an awesome day at Hovdala. I'm so happy. And I really like this bag. Yeah, I mean, I'm honestly, I'm very impressed. So what do you like and dislike about your bag? So what I, I like can tell and you dislike I about, <laughs> so I know what to say. Uh, I dislike that I don't have any side pockets like you have. Yeah, what a party. Uh, I dislike that I can't fit all of this stuff and a MacBook. Can't have to choose. Yeah, can't have can't have both um, and I dislike that I can't really have a long lens in here and fit more stuff otherwise it's really good so I really like that it's like a just how I have it right now this is really convenient uh, it's true um, I love I love this you know with the, the yeah securing the text yeah. apps and everything oh, that's pretty that. cool beautiful um, and I love the leather accent it's really nice everything is just very pretty and it was the... Very scratch resistant. Yeah, mine has marks, but it's uh, not good. I don't good. really have a problem with the scratches now, so it's good. Uh, what about you? Okay. Well, I really like that. I do have a water bottle extras that I can have. I really like the extra liter because that makes it all the difference if I can fit the long lens in all these different sizes. Yeah, and I can do two I'm cameras missing. too. I yeah. uh, still can have the big laptop, the 13 inch without problem with my cameras in there, which is nice. The only thing I, I find could be uh, a slight annoyance is the hard case uh, for my sunglasses makes it I don't have complete freedom to do standing long lenses. Oh yeah, yeah. Because then you kind of lose the side of the bag. I see. have to put yeah, it down yeah, yeah. sideways. Other than that, I, it's really stylish. Slightly less scratch resistant than yours. Uh, but I, I do, it is very nice. It also has this quick, as you, yours do too, so it's yeah. super easy to adjust to be comfortable. And not so big that it can fit so much that it breaks my back. Just nine, li nine liters is perfect. <laughs> Nine Anyways. liters of lead. <laughs> <laughs> Nine liters of love. Oh. All right. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Yeah, uh, you're always welcome for our little trips and adventures. Yeah. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, smash that uh, subscribe button or ring the bell or whatever it's called. You know yeah. what to do. Yeah, I think I really hope you guys liked having being here at the fair with us too. Like we're having cavalry archers behind us right now. We're having a little competition. It's super cool. So much fun. So yeah, have a great one. And I'll see you in the next one. Right, see ya. Bye. Bye.